me know. Okay, let's get started with your reading here. And the overall energy here, you have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So I feel like some communication has been stopped or blocked with somebody specifically or some, uh, you know, um, back and forth movement has completely stopped with someone. Uh, as I feel here, as I'm looking at your cards, so I have different energies are coming to me. You could be dealing with uh, a Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. And yeah, I also feel an Aries as well. You could be dealing with uh, this fire sign too. But what I feel here is you're very much um, imbalanced at some point or you, this is probably in the past, you were very imbalanced. Probably you have lost, as I said, communication with somebody that was dear to you. And it feels like Everything has crumbled um, into your life. Could be also in balance into uh, like a, what it what makes you stable. So it could be work, commitment, or anything that actually was part of your foundation at some point. What I feel here, um, this is you, and this is a scenario, one scenario. As I said, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. But what I feel here you are having this knight of once in the reverse energy and it feels like you are completely restless you are uh, perhaps for some of you having even anxiety scattered thoughts or not feeling like not knowing which path to take it feels like you are also could be spying on somebody or watching somebody or stalking someone but let me tell you what i feel here you're in balance because of one of these energies here okay could be a queen of swords libra gemini or aquarius or an aries but could be these two are involved together and you're in balance because of this situation okay or um you're in balance because there is somebody that is uh, that has higher status actually that is making you completely in balance and is affecting your life in general but what i feel here there is a, an offer of love that is not accepted okay and actually the challenge is you need to move on with this and because of your scattered energy you know that you need to move on because of this um offer of cups that is not accepted you know that you know there is a um like or this this is probably somebody that is guiding you and is telling you that you know the best option is for you to move forward but and you know like on a conscious level however your actions are not you know um yet manifested because you have this paths over here you know that you need to take this one and you are actually having one of the greatest lessons into your life at the moment because this whatever is happening right now is helping you standing for yourself and standing your grounds and this is the energies here with the seven of ones this is the advice this is calling you to stand your grounds over here and you are going to do so you are going to leave these energies behind but you have to come into this emperor energy as well and just see that there is absolutely nothing that you can do anymore to save a situation a specific situation with a specific person that you have got communication with so as i said could be any sign but here you have a prominent queen of swords energy and when the queen of swords appears i mean when she decides to cut communication like you have here then she does it and she doesn't actually um, have a heart to open up you know or open room for conversational communication again so yeah this queen of sword is definitely not accepting this offer or perhaps this is your energy and you're not accepting this offer perhaps you're embodying this energy of the queen of swords and you're refusing this offer of love standing for yourself standing your grounds and knowing exactly what you want to do for some of you you could be a little bit impulsive and protecting yourself but it feels like this is as i said one of the greatest lessons that you 
had to learn, you know, to stand your truth. So let me see what is your environmental energy here. Environments, environment situation. Please show me Sagittarius environment situation here. Two cards, too much. Sagittarius environment situation, thank you. So yeah, the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So for some of you, you definitely feel imbalanced, like exactly like this card. You feel imbalanced emotionally. You know, it feels like everything is crumbling into your house because you have lost this person probably or because you can't move on from this person or from this love. Okay, show me Sagittarius emotional state, please. Thank you. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. So it feels like you're working on yourself to get out of this situation. As I said, standing your grounds. You're working on your emotions. You're actually... It's hard work. It's, it's, it's very tough for you to move forward. And I feel you're stuck, but you are getting there. You know, you're working on it. You're working on yourself. And that's the beautiful lesson here. You are actually applying this lesson into your life and moving forward. Show me Sagittarius hopes, please. Thank you. Yeah. Queen of Cups. So in the reverse. So it feels like you're hoping for this love to come back but you know exactly that you know this love is not coming back because this person could be you or the person you're involved with although you're hoping for their love but because there is one one of you is actually let's say building a fence but this hope is not coming into fruition as you know because it is in the reverse Oh, many cards here. Four cards. It's just too much. Show me Sagittarius fears, please. One card for Sagittarius fears. Thank you. Yeah. Ten of Wands. So this is your fear, not believing, you know, that you can drop this burden, not believing that, you know, this pain is going to end. This is a fear, but it is going to end. You are dropping this ten. And as you can see, you have ten of uh, ten and ten. And it is a completion, definite completion. Let me see your outcome here. You are dropping this burden. You are dropping this pain, painful situation here. You're leaving this person behind, actually. Show me. Sagittarius outcome for this reading. We are going to do another love spread. So please stay tuned if this reading did not resonate with you. Sagittarius outcome, please. Thank you. Okay, the King of Cups. So this is your outcome, knowing that there is nothing that can come out from this, you know, emotional um, situation. Definitely, you're dropping your cup. You're not receiving this love. You could also be dealing with... Here we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups as well. And none of you would like to extend the love anymore. Yes, and here you have the High Priestess. So the High Priestess speaks about intuition. You know deep down that this person is not good for you. You know deep down that there are some secretive... The High Priestess is all about like not revealing secrets as well. Some secretive things going on. And it, it feels like there is some unspoken truth here. Why am I feeling that? Yeah, and it's calling you to have strength here to just drop your cups because it is not going to, it, it is not going to manifest. This, I mean, stop being involved with the situation. It is not going to manifest. It feels like you're pouring sand into water. So focus into something else, okay? This is what I feel. Have the strength to move on and you are going to move on. And the fact that you're feeling puzzled here, you are dropping this two of pentacles as well and you're moving forward. Forward movement. Leave this situation behind. This is what I feel here. Because emotionally, you or them are not fulfilled when you are together, you know? You could be very well, uh, like, uh, um, you could have passion or 
feeling in love or whatever but you know deep down you're not settled you're not balanced so it is definitely not good for both of you here so let me pull three cards here from the psychic tarot deck one two and three interesting okay we have the intuition and it is the high priestess card that came earlier and we also have the four which is authority and the emperor that came earlier so there is an author uh, authority figure that is coming into uh, the picture for some of you i feel this authority figure came and actually disrupted the energy between um, you and and someone else okay but could be also you need actually you seek guidance or advice from this person you are and you are going to receive help <clears throat> from this person in order for you to move forward as i said here there is patience and planning here with the seven of pentacles and it's calling you to work on a situation you know to again feel harmonious within yourself and feel you know this balanced life that you once had <clears throat> you know and it feels here like your intuition is working on your favor as i said this person look at this <clears throat> they know that there are better things coming for them you know i don't know if you can see well this picture but there is a door here and there is a door that needs to be opened for you and it feels like here now you're acquiring the wisdom and all the lessons that you need in order for you to open this door because there are beautiful things coming um, towards you outside this door but you are now just gaining that confidence and so you can have the key to open this door you're guided, you're guided by the angels, you're guided by the universe and the cosmos. And just please extend your prayers and you are going to be answered. This is a beautiful um, card to end up the month with. Now we are going to do a love spread. Here we are going to use the Romance Angel cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay. So this is your energy towards them please show me sagittarius oops okay let me see you have all the cards okay so at the bottom of the deck here you have deception so someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship you probably have been deceived here you know and um it feels like as i said it's time for you to free yourself and the same card is coming here it's time for you to free yourself and move forward i'm going to pull a few cards from the psychic sorry from the witch's tarot just to clarify the oracle cards here okay Okay, one of, oops, too many. Okay. Thank you. Oh my God, this emperor, it came actually three times in your reading. There is somebody else that your partner or potential partner is involved with and it seems like it's an emperor it seems like they have probably having children together incredible okay please show me give me a card for keep an open mind thank you free yourself okay and very soon show me very soon for Sagittarius 
Thank you. Okay. Look at this. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. So definitely you are into this mental prison, into this anxiety, into this, um, you know, like blindfolding yourself, knowing exactly that this is not serving you. So this is your energy here, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past to experience more love in the present moment. So definitely, I feel like this destruction or this, um, let's say, breakup happened already in the past and you are moving forward. However, you're still, you're, you're still tied up to it. Too, okay. You're still, um, probably mentally thinking about this person or this per, and like, you know, our bodies have like energy prints. So it feels like you're craving this person, you know, but it, no, you have to move forward because it feels like they want to give their relationship a chance and work on their partnership but it feels like it for some of you it is with somebody else with this emperor because this emperor came between you and the other person earlier okay and it came with this uh, psychic tarot deck and it's coming here they want they are leaving you because they want to work on something else you know they want to work they want to give a relationship a chance to some to someone else over here and it feels like it's an emperor could be the father of their children or could be somebody that has a higher status or older or somebody wiser that have you know like that that is very uh you know uh stable um that can offer them actually something stable you know A stable life okay the potential here it's telling you to keep in mind that your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so but here with this ten of ones that you have here you can't see you can't keep it you can you know free your mind because you're carrying this burden of this person so it's calling you to drop it okay the advice here is free yourself as you can see here free yourself from this uh, you know like toxic situation where you are at at the moment it's time to take back control of your life and it is the if you do so you are going to get out of this sadness and sorrow and like sleepless nights and feeling completely depressed you need to free yourself and get out of this energy here and it feels like here clearly it says clearly you will decide what you want to do so it comes to you now and it says very soon so take on your strength over here and move forward leave the past behind because very soon you're gonna have other opportunities that are coming towards you but it will only come if you you know clear the past and it feels like you will have the strength coming from you know within and the universe is going to help you to be strong so for some of you if you want to reach out to and i'm sorry but i i forgot to mention this could be their energy or your energy but for some of you if you feel like you need to reach out or if they reach out you know just cut that communication off it is not good for you really not recommended for you so let me see what are the healing angel cards has to say here for you Sagittarius please show me healing cards for Sagittarius okay healing cards for Sagittarius thank you one more thank you oh wow interesting so look at this at the bottom of the deck we have power so yes it it's joining the strength that I spoke to you about earlier. And as I said, listen here. Listen to your guardian angels. So look at this. I told you you will be guided by the universe. And here it's calling you to, you know, take back your power, take back control of your life and listen to your guardian angels because you are going to be guided. The universe is guiding you. Your angels are 
guiding you just extend your prayers to them and they will show you the way to move forward they will give you the power they will give you the willpower and show you the right path so you can move out of this you know sorrow and sadness interesting really so this is your angel answers card so please if you have a specific question i'm going to ask you to uh you know just put your mind into um like bring on your energy into yourself and ask a specific question that relates to you and if you're meant to know the answer then the angel angels will answer you specifically if not then they will not and if you don't have any question then pause this video and play it back once you have it so i'm going to ask my angels to answer sagittarius three cards okay so look at this at the bottom of the deck we have ask your angels so again prayers ask your angels what it is you want to have and let me see here so i have interesting cards okay so look at this you have opportunity and you have within the next few weeks few months and within the next few weeks so yes opportunities are coming towards you within the next few weeks or months so please just ask your angels for what it is you want and they will provide you with this brand new opportunity for you and as i said please just drop the past in order for you to see clear it was a very 